Hello everyone, Jacolo here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a series in which I try and explain every engine in the game of UK Bro, and make puns while doing so. Today's episode is like a fairy tale, a one where old flowers bloom at the end due to vernalization. So let's catch some fairies and let our deck bloom with the Verna Sylph engine. Before we do though, please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'm on the road to 1000 subs and you can help me reach that goal. There's something special planned for that milestone with more information coming in the future. Now back to the topic at hand. Verna Sylph or Vernalizer Fairy as they are known in the OCG land are an archetype of Earth fairy monsters introduced in Power of the elements in August 2022. The archetype is based on various fairies tending to their land and causing natural phenomena to occur, and it's seen competitive play basically upon release. All of that is due to the engine being generic support for anything that's earth. Now I wonder, what current meta deck is made out of nothing but earth monsters? Hmm. Nah, I got nothing. The engine works in a very simple way. Each Vernal Self has an effect that discards itself and on the monster in order to activate the Vernal Self's unique effect. And then special summon one Earth monster from the graveyard. Not to mention that for the rest of the turn, only Earth monster effects can be activated. It's a foolish burial for Earth monsters, except another copy of itself, which can summon a different monster back to the field. What else would you need? This is just a search for even more Vernal Selfs. Nothing more, nothing less. This one allows you to add an Earth fairy monster, except another copy of itself, of course. And depending on the deck you're using it in, it might be a bit broken, because because uh, if you don't remember, all of the Ishizu cards are Earth Fairy, and since they're all limited on the TCG ban list, it might be a good idea to have a way of searching them out. This one provides a simple draw on top of the revival effect. Revive a monster from the graveyard and recycle another one. It can be quite useful at times, especially if you want to set a place for the next turn. When it comes to the build of the engine, it changes depending on what you want to do with it. From what I've seen, it's usually three awakening forests, flourishing hills, misting seas, and two spawning mountains. However, some people are playing two of each, or even three of each. It really depends on the deck used and the reason the engine is used for in the first place. When it comes to pros of the engine, it does provide a discard outlet, which can get rid of bricks in hand or set up an engrave effect, while also being full of extenders. However, the same discard outlet can be a bit of a con for the engine, since should it be negated, the card advantage will shift into the opponent's favor. Additionally, the engine prevents effect activation for any non Earth monsters, meaning that either everything in both main deck and extra deck is Earth, or continuous effects are used. When it comes to the usage of the engine, use it in everything Earth. Earth Machine, Super Heavy Samurai, Amazonas, Melfi, Makina, Scrap, Jigon, and more! Just Earth! Out of the entire engine, only two cards are not printed in the common rarity, those being Awakening Forest as a super rare going for about 3 bucks, and Flourishing Hills, which is an ultra going for almost 5. Everything else is common and worth pennies. That's everything about the Vernisov engine, so tell me how useful it would be in the deck you're using. I think it's one of the best engines currently in the game, probably why it's so limited in usage. Anyway, I'll see you all next time, Chikon's hanging out, peace.